فقولا له قولا لينا لعله يتذكر أو يخشى قالا ربنا إننا نخاف أن يفرط علينا أو أن يطغى قال لا تخافا إنني معكما أسمع وأرى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Peace be with you. We talked about uh, the courage to think, the courage to uh, learn, and with these two courage and the two types that we have discussed, we come with something which is uh, the natural consequence of what it means to think and what it means to learn. It's to the, this uh, uh, courage to criticize, to be able to look at the world and not to take everything for granted or take anything uh, blindly without questioning. We know that the angels question even God and this is what we have to do with our parents, with our society and with the people around us. First it starts at home with our parents and we have it in the Quran. وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ تُشْرِكَ بِي مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ فَلَا تُتِعْهُمَا If your parents are asking you to do something wrong or to believe in another God, you cannot obey, you should not obey. Meaning that out of respect you listen, but out of your love to truth you criticize even your parents. So if this has to be the case within the family, it has to be the case everywhere. With our scholars, when you go and you ask a scholar about a fatwa, a, a legal opinion, you have to ask him or her about the proofs. Where does it come from? Is this based on the Quran? So you have to question the answers that you get. Exactly the same with the teachers. And this is something that unfortunately in many southern countries in Africa, in Asia, we are not doing enough, which is questioning the authority of the teacher. Okay, that's fine, you are teaching us this, but is this true? What are the facts? Are we, and we have to challenge the authority because this is the way you respect your mind, you respect your autonomy and you respect your freedom. So this is something that is uh, the case in your society and you have to do exactly the same with your culture, with your society. You have to confront, you have to question, you have to criticize. Any cultural feature should be and could be criticized. Not, no culture is perfect. So this is where you know the Arabic cultures or uh, any culture, the Western cultures, from within you have to question and to be able to criticize. As you know, all the messengers, when they were dealing with the society, what they got is, we find our fathers and our society doing so, so we are imitating. No, that's not the way to follow the truth and to follow the messengers and to follow the, 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 the reality of life. You should be able to criticize your society, your culture, up to even your parents at home without disrespecting them, but with showing and showing that at the same time you are able to respect the authority of the teachers, of your parents, of the society, but you are not blind. You are uh, uh, showing that you are able to distinguish between what is right and what is wrong and what is only done because we are imitating the past. But we are not followers of the past, we are followers of truth and for this we should be able to criticize. Don't forget to tell the people you love that you love them. Life is fragile. <laughs>